So we're going to do a Charlotte Tilbury play session slash haul today. A few of these items I did by myself, but I received the magic mystery boxes in the mail from them in PR and I sorted through what I already had and what I didn't and I am somebody who I consider to have tried pretty much everything from Charlotte Tilbury but there was a number of things that I got sent that I'd never tried before or didn't have these colors and it accumulated to quite a lot enough to do a video so this is kind of like a try on style haul but I do want to be transparent a lot of these were sent through PR packages that I've been collecting but you know for pretty much everything I've purchased Charlotte Tilbury on my own for years this is just a collection of random things that they sent me recently. I don't know. The packages were random, but I'm very, very thankful. Before we get into that, I want to say a huge thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video. Lily Silk has everything silk and then more. If you don't know Lily Silk, I've worked with them many times before. I love the items on their site, which is why I continue to work with them. They have silk items from clothing to bed sheets to hair ties. They have bras, they have non-silk stuff, a lot of really great luxury pieces because they use 100% natural premium materials like mulberry silk and Mongolian cashmere to keep their products clean and toxin free with even a certification. They're zero waste, so their extra fabric gets turned into hair ties, accessories, eye masks, things like that. And then everything, when I received everything, they came in really pretty gift style boxes and envelopes, and you can choose if it is a gift to have it packed in the gift box style. And all of the packaging is 100% reusable and recyclable. If you don't know about silk, silk pieces are great for your skin. They help reduce wrinkles over time. They help keep the moisture in the skin, as well as hair as well. If you have very frizzy hair like myself, I love a good silk pillowcase. So there's a lot of benefits to silk. And actually, they just launched their autumn collection. So I'm going to show you the pieces that I picked up from their autumn collection because they are so cute. So first thing I think that this is the perfect fall piece is this knitwear item. It's 100% cashmere and it's an oversized fit so it's really nice for a casual outfit. I went for the comfy, cozy vibe on the first outfit, but I think this could be really cute to layer as well. Put like maybe overalls over top would be so cute in the fall, or put a little skirt underneath to be poking through since it is an oversized fit. So this is very versatile. I always love this cable knit S kind of style sweater in the fall. I think they are so cute while also keeping you warm. And this particular one is a little bit more sheer, which I think is great for layering and also great because I live in a very hot climate all year round. And of course, the fact that it's 100% cashmere, super soft. And then the top that I'm wearing, I think this is my favorite piece. It's 85% silk and then 15% cashmere. It has a nice slim fit and this one is so versatile. I paired it with a pair of linen shorts but it also is really great for work. It's great to throw a sweater or a blazer over top and you can layer it too with a low neck sweater. That would be adorable and I really like that this is also a very thin material so it makes layering that much better. And then the last item, I just wanted a simple silk blouse. I'm excited to wear this. I think that this is going to be fantastic for work or for the office if you work in that type of environment. It's a regular fit and it has just the basic shirt collar. So this style is just so classic as well as the colors that they have. So I think it's always nice to just have a silk blouse and you can dress it up with some work pants, but you can also dress it down by tucking it into a skirt. I paired it with a cheetah print midi skirt and it was so cute. I wanted to wear that outfit even though I have nowhere to wear it to. And this bra, I'm so excited. This is like my fourth one. I've literally purchased this bra with my own money because it's the most comfy bra you will ever wear. It's nice and stretchy, there's no wires, no uncomfortable 
back buckles, and it also has two peach detachable built-in pads that can be taken out if you don't like that. So I love wearing this under sweaters and t-shirts because there really is nothing more comfortable. And I am in the itty bitty titty committee. <laughs> <laughs> this gives me a little bit of shape, so I do like the pads in here. And it's supposed to fit an A to a D cup. And because of how thin this is, it doesn't leave like a line or anything underneath of your clothes. So this is one of my all-time favorite bras. So I'm excited to tell you about it again today. So actually up until September 8th, Lily Silk is having their anniversary sale, but you can also get 12% off everything Lily Silk with the code Morgan or 15% off if you spend more than $350 with the code Morgan15 and that is stackable with the sites buy one get one 25% off deal. So you're welcome. So thank you, Lily Silk, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Let's go ahead and get into the makeup. Okay, so the first thing that I got is a skincare item. And I feel like Charlotte Tilbury's skincare does not get talked about a lot. But I've had good experiences with the skincare. I've also heard that they are overpriced and nothing special. But I've had good experiences with the skincare. So this is the Goddess Cleansing Balm Ritual Miracle Spa in a Jar Duo. And I haven't tried either of these yet. I'm not going to, but I like what we have in here. I don't know what this is. I'll have to read the instructions, but there's the Goddess Cleansing Ritual 1, which is a citrus oil radiance cleanse, and then the Goddess Cleansing Ritual 2, which is a purifying charcoal cleanse. So if you've tried any of these, let me know. I don't know what the purpose of this is. Deep cleansing, supercharged citrus oil and purifying bamboo charcoal miracle spa duo for fresh, radiant looking skin so i'm going to have to try this later i'm not going to try it in this video but i'm excited about this this sounds good i want to use some charlie Tilbury skincare more the next item i got this is also a skincare item and this is the glow toner that launched last year i believe so it's a daily radiant glow solution i'm gonna try this today i've never tried this before so it says to apply this in the am and the pm on dry skin Ew. Does not taste good. I'm gonna put it on a cotton pad. It's kind of got like a fil thick, milky consistency. I was gonna say a filky consistency. Huh. It smells nice. It has kind of like a soft rose scent. Kind of reminds me of the fresh toner scent that has those petals in there. Feels nice. It doesn't feel like hydrating or anything, but it's supposed to help make the skin glowy. Obviously with skincare, you don't really know unless you've used it for a long amount of time, but I thought it would be fun to play with that. This is very rogue for me to try skincare on a whim since my skin is so picky. I can only introduce one new item at a time, but I wanted to use it. And then the last skincare item that I have, which is perfect, it's an SPF. This is the Broad Spectrum SPF Sunscreen Invisible UV Flawless Primer. So we're going to use this kind of as our primer for today. Okay, let's see. Nothing is coming out. I have to get the, get the thingy off. Okay. I've had a lot of these products pulled to this side for this video for a while. I've been so excited because you guys know charlotte tilbury is one of my favorite brands so i've been dying to test all these new products hmm this feels pretty nice on the skin i like it it doesn't feel like too oily or anything but there is a slight hydration that it gives to the skin maybe not the easiest to blend in but i like the healthy glow that this left behind as well perfect for the summer and i do like that it's spf 50. So first impressions, I like that too. And then I do want to hydrate my skin a little bit extra. So this I'm excited about. I've been dying to try this. This is Charlotte Tilbury's pretty new at this point skin mist. So this is the Magic Hydrator Mist. So she does have a spray that sets makeup for longevity, but this one is supposed to add hydration. So I'm going to use this before makeup and then I might use it after if my skin is looking dry. Let's see, I'm so excited for it to actually come out. There we go. Good mist. Slight fragrance to it. 
Okay, I'm gonna let this set and then I'm gonna pop on some foundation and concealer and eyebrows off camera because I don't have anything new and then we'll we'll get a move on it. Okay, so these next items I purchased myself and I did do a review on these, but I thought I would just use them since they're new to Charlotte Tilbury. She just relaunched her beach sticks in three shades. And if you wanna see these in action, I did do a whole review, but I'm just gonna use one as a base today, a base blush. But in case you missed it, here are the swatches. These are a very pretty formula. I really like these. Formentera's at the top, then Moon Beach, then Las Salinas, in case you needed to know. So I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Moon Beach. I'm gonna use the restocked finally BK Beauty 109 brush and I'm just going to put that directly on the product and then lightly on my skin I am going to go over with a powder blush so I don't care about the pigment being too opaque on my cheek it's okay if it's a little bit sheer because once I put the powder on top it's going to stick to the cream and then the powder is actually going to be quite pigmented but isn't this pretty I mean I'm not gonna say that these are a must-have game-changing product there's lots of really great cream stick products out on the market but this one is still a good one and it's very pretty and if you like the brand Charlotte Tilbury I think you will enjoy these but they aren't game changing. Okay so the next product that I have is one that I owned in the past but when I moved I gave it to my mom and then they ended up actually relaunching this so they ended up resending me, well, sending me the Nude Gasm face palette. So since I only have Light Gasm, I'm going to hold on to this one this time to keep it as my own. And the reason they launched this and not the Light Gasm, I guess, is because this was more popular. And this has a bronzer, well, two bronzers, one more of a sculptor, and then a little bit deeper, a highlight and a blush. So I'm going to use all of that on my face today. For science, I'm going to start off with this shade, the lighter bronzer. So let's see what this looks like. And I did set my face with a little bit of powder in the center. So this I feel like is not really showing up, right? Maybe just a little bit, but very, very subtle. Let's try this shade on the other side. A little bit better, but these are quite hard pressed. So you have to put in a little bit of elbow grease. Like there, I can see that now. I don't know, you would think that the formula would be better and they would figure that out. Which is weird because Charlotte Tilbury does have good powder products, but I, at least in 2023, I know I said I like this years ago, but in 2023, I don't know if I love it. And then we're gonna go in with the lighter shade on a smaller brush. I wanna see this as a nose contour. Oh, that's actually really nice for a nose contour, a powder one. Get a little bit under here. I'm gonna use my cheek brush to push the product in, and then also add a little bit of a toast on my nose with the leftover blush. And then we're gonna use this shimmery blush from the Nude Gasm palette. Perfect. I chose that Moon Beach shade because it went perfectly with this blush. That looks really nice. My skin is like a little bit clogged right now because I've been using a lot of hydration products because my skin just got super duper dry from being in Vegas for a week and traveling all month and being on so many different airplanes. So I've been overly hydrating. So it's clogging my skin a little bit, but I want to get the hydration down first and then I'll chill. <laughs> and then we're going to use a little bit of the highlight, which is very pretty. This should technically not work for me. I feel like this should work for darker skin tones since they did come out with that lighter palette a few years ago. But it does look good on me. Like, I do like it. I wish it was darker for the sake of consumers, right? But it does look very, very pretty on me. <laughs> and then I got a couple different eye products. So I got two eyes to mesmerize shades sent to me that I didn't have before. Champagne and Oyster Pearl. Now Oyster Pearl I've used before because my mom has this shade. And I believe it's one of their best selling. So I have Oyster Pearl which is a little bit more taupey 
goes with my shirt and then champagne which is lighter for a bright eye. I think because Oyster Pearl is the more popular color, I'm going to use just a little bit of that. So I'm gonna make sure that any leftover concealer on my eyes is dealt with. I'm actually gonna quickly dip into the Nude Gasm palette because I want to set the eye. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of that lighter crease shade, well, lighter bronzer shade. Just going to blend this in. See, that's perfect for adding just a hint of dimension. Okay, Oyster Pearl. Now these, I do find are a little bit creasy. So just be careful not to layer too thick of the product on your eyelid, but just a hint gives that little bit of glimmer to the eye. A little bit of color, really great for on the go, for office people, for people who don't like too much color, don't want to fiddle around with eyeshadow. It's just kind of a quick wash of color, and that color is very, very pretty. I like it. So my biggest thing with these is I like to set with a little bit of powder over top because these do crease on my eyelids since I do have, you know, a little bit of a hooded eyelid. But very, very pretty. I'm excited about these new shades. And then I also have this. And this is a formula I've never tried before. These are the Color Chameleons. And I got the shade Champagne Diamonds sent to me. I am so excited about this since I've never tried this formula. And I have been into eyeshadow sticks lately. So I'm not going to put this all over the lid since we have Oyster Pearl. But I'm going to put some... On the inner corner, underneath the brow bone. Oh, that's so pretty. Let's just, for the fun of it, put it on the bridge of the nose. And then I do want to add some brightness along the lower lash line. So I'm just going to put this here. This, in my opinion, gives a youthful, wide awake look to the eyes. What do we think? I think that looks really pretty. That added a nice touch of brightness. Let's see how it looks on a swatch. Oh, this shade is so pretty, and this is such a versatile color. Ooh, I recommend this. I first, before I recommend it, I want to test this all over the eyelid to see how it's going to look. But do keep in mind that just for little touches of glow on the face, this is very versatile, but I want to see it all over the eyelid. But I think that's it for now. For longevity, I told you I like to set with a powder over top just to help. So I'm going to, it doesn't match perfectly, but I'm just gonna use what I have. I'm using the highlight. And this is gonna add a fun little glow over top of Oyster Pearl. And it's going to help stop the creasing of this. Honestly, I like what I just did there. That's good, good stuff. Okay, let me pop on a little bit of eyeliner really fast and I'll be back. I just popped on a brown eyeshadow just as my liner for today, but I was admiring the overall look right now off camera because I really do have that Charlotte Tilbury glow that she's known for on my skin between all of the face products, the hydration mist. Oh my gosh, before I applied my makeup, that hydration mist made my skin look super glowy. So just using these two together, even without makeup over top, is going to give such a glowy look to the skin. And then the eye products as well just really finished off that Charlotte Tilbury style of glow. Now, I did get two mascaras. The first one I'm not going to open because mascaras have such a short lifespan. But this is the Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes Mascara, which is fine. I've used it before. But I like this because it's in the shade Dream Pop, which is kind of like a purpley brown. I'm going to use this today. I actually want to try it. Never mind. But then the mascara that I'm now not using is the Full Fat Lashes. I've actually never tried this before which is why I wanted to use it today but I think the other color mascara since I'm not putting on falsies today is going to be more fun but okay not using the full fat lashes but this will be in my to try bins dream pop let's try it out I'm really interested to see what this color looks like so I'm just gonna curl my lashes this will fall Probably because my lashes are so naturally straight whenever I put any weight on them like mascara 
just weighs them down. So the packaging is really cute. Let's look at this color together. Ah, so interesting. Okay, let's try it out. It still is adding some definition to my eyes. So, well, to my lashes, not to my eyes. But I think this will, actually, because it has some purple to it, like purpley red. I don't know how to describe this color. But I can tell this is going to look amazing on green eyes. So if you have green eyes, oh gosh, I cannot tell you the last time I used a mascara that was not black. This is a fun way to make your eyes pop. What do we think? I think I like it. Let me get the lower lashes. I still prefer a black mascara, but this is a fun change. I'm happy I decided to try this one out. And honestly, it did a pretty good job of separating my lashes just the way that the wand was. I would say I like this mascara more than I remember. Okay, I have a few different lip products to share. The first one, so I have like the littlest baby size of this. So I'm excited to have a full size of Kim KW's lipstick. This is one of the most nude lipsticks. Like it does not look good without a dark lip liner. Look at this. Super duper light, but I love it with a deep lip liner. So I'm excited to have a full size of this. Let me show you a swatch. And it's such a nice formula. If you don't know, Charlotte Tilbury is one of my all-time favorite. Actually, Charlotte Tilbury is my all-time favorite lipstick formula. So I'm excited to have an updated big version of this. And then I also got another shade of the lip glare. So I purchased one on my own and then they sent over another color in rose blur. And I thought that this one would be fun. It's a little bit deeper than the Pillow Talk one that I purchased. Let's take a look, yeah. So this is going to add a nice flush look to my lips. Let's just try it. I have a different product that I'm trying. So I didn't expect to use this one, but I feel like that adds nice color back to my lips. And I'm not like jumping for joy over this formula, but it is nice. It is kind of a blurring lip formula. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. It's not like thick and drying like a regular liquid lipstick, but it has that K-Beauty-esque kind of American hybrid formula together to give you this, and it looks nice. And then I also have this lip luster in the shade Pillow Talk. So I can't believe I've never had this either. This is kind of a staple item in the line so i don't have many lip glosses from charlotte tilbury so now i have the classic pillow talk lip gloss but i don't really love charlotte tilbury lip glosses and this doesn't smell the greatest doesn't smell bad but doesn't smell good i want it to smell good Let's swatch this it does have a good level of pigment though for a gloss so those are the three new lip products that I have, but I actually have one more formula that I'm excited to try. I've never tried these before. So I have the Magic Lip Oils in all three colors. So I think one is Sheer, one is Rose, and then one is in Berry. Okay, so let's play around with these. So I want to first try the clear one to see how hydrating, how glowy it looks. Oh my gosh. Look at this, it's a ball. <gasps> I did not realize that this packaging had a ball. I think, okay, you do have to squeeze it though to get the product to seep out, I think. Um, I'm, how hard do I have to squeeze? There we go. Weird. Okay, the ball is weird now. Huh. But that gives a really glowy look to the lips. My only thing is I feel like you have to press kind of hard. So if I had a color on underneath, this ball would be disgusting. And then it would also move the product underneath. But on bare look, lips, really pretty. Let me try Rose Lust to see what that color looks like. I haven't heard anybody talking about this product. Come on. There we go. Oh my gosh. I'll have to show you the next one, what just happened. 
Okay, so this one definitely has more color to it. Mmm. I do think I like these. I'm gonna have to use them more. They're much thinner than the Dior would be. Okay, watch this. So this is Berry Bliss. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let me put on a lip liner. Okay, so let's see what Berry Bliss looks like. I really am struggling to understand this packaging. This one is the deepest shade. And look, you can see I'm getting the lip liner already on the packaging. Like the packaging is cool to look at, but I'm not sure about the application. Did I want my lip to be that dark? I really didn't need to grab for a lip color that deep. But you can really see the gloss now. But let me get myself together. I think I'm gonna switch to a lighter lip color and I'll see you guys out. I'm popping on the Pillow Talk gloss. God, it really does have more pigment than I thought. It's a bit thick. Hmm. Nice. But the, the lip oils definitely have more glow to them. And here is the final look. Honestly, I love it. It looks like a Charlotte Tilbury makeup look. I feel like I look like I can tell I put on Charlotte Tilbury products. And I'm excited because I really felt like I tried everything from Charlotte Tilbury, but... This proved me wrong. New colors, new formulas for me to try, and I loved the way that it turned out. So I will have everything that I linked down below, and thank you to Charlotte Tilbury for sending over a large majority of this stuff. I had a fun time messing around with it, and a huge thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you use the code MORGAN for 12% off, or MORGAN15 if you spend more than $350, you'll get that 15% off. And don't forget, their anniversary sale does end on September 8th, if there's anything that you want to pick up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.